All right, hey YouTube, Dumas RC back with another video, and it's another Giant Lightning one. <laughs> um, but this should be the last, uh, I think this is gonna be my last Giant Lightning one, at least for a little bit here. I got, I think I'm really moving on to green light next. Um, but we'll get to it in a second here. This is all gonna be, um, classic gold from, uh, like 99 to 2000. Four ish, maybe I don't. I don't know. Um, but we'll, we'll, bleh, we will just go ahead and get right into them. Uh, first up, we have 97 Chevy Impala SS. Uh, this is let's see, Capri 2000. I have no idea which uh, classic gold series this one is. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. Use this casting numerous times, um, often in deco for this. And there we go. Um, they use it a lot as a, a police car, too. So it's actually the casting itself actually has the uh, um, Caprice uh, grill. But they just they just black it out and put the Chevy logo in there just to make it the try to make it the uh, Impala version. <laughs> so there we go. She looks yeah well, she looks good but she's definitely got a couple issues here it's in the weirdly in the same spot under the rear uh, <coughs> under the rear fenders there. Funny the wonder if these were. I don't know if these were repainted. Any yeah, of those like a taxi version or something? They got repainted in black, but then it's got this uh, chip under there for whatever reason. So there's that one. Next up, six seven GTO. Again, also two thousand. Not sure exactly which series this. One. So this one is kind of in a, looks like a brown. Yeah, this isn't done up in a brown color. Um, oh, open, got your opening hood. And your Krager SS wheels with the BF Goodrich radials. Good stock looking car. <laughs> uh, next up, this is 98. 99 uh, fiber. This is copyright 01. Yep, 2001. Classic. classic I'm glad I caught that because that would have fallen right on top of the GTO I had there. And here she is. So that's interesting. The blue on the wheels is sticky. It's like it's coming off. That kind of stinks. So that's something. If you're looking for any of these on your own, keep an eye out for that. Because that sucks. <laughs> So, do not touch the wheels if you want to try to keep the blue on there. <laughs> All right, next up, 63 Chevy Nova, orange and blue, purple. I think these are all, because of the cards, I think these are all based on uh, cars that they randomly saw. It's kind of like with the uh, Most Cars USA that they do now with the uh, MCACN. Uh, yeah, MC. Yeah, MCACN uh, mixes that they, they do. Uh, the car and the Corvette Nationals uh, car show. So, like, version A will be the based on the actual car that they see at the show. Version B will just be a random other color for them. So. Yeah. I've seen a 
custom of this where it actually got base swapped onto one of the Zinger bases from the uh, 2016 releases. Looks pretty neat that way. <laughs> uh, next up, 71 Mustang Boss 351, even though I mentioned before, it's 73 cat. It's a 73 Mustang. <laughs> With those vertical marker lights, it is a 73, not a 71 or 72. So see the vertical lights there. Anyway, uh, this one done up in blue. Um, kind of like, basically the same idea. And it's Boss 351. So I think those the green and orange ones I opened on a video or two ago were Mach ones. So this is the first three boss 351. Good looking car. All right, next up, a later version. I think this is copyright 2002, 82 Ford Mustang GT. And no, I think I got that for like four bucks, not five. <laughs> Actually got this over in a car show or a toy show out in Syracuse with a bunch of other cars that I will be opening on another video. Um, this is copyright 99. Uh, this casting was originally used for um, uh, IndyCar, IndyCar pace car mix. It was uh, they'd be in two packs with the pace car for the year and the winning car. Um, we're in a two pack together. This casting was originally designed for that. The base was different. The base was more, it had that kind of older, uh, Johnny Lightning stance to it, uh, jacked up stance to it. But, um, they tooled this lower, the, uh, this lower base for it for a pace cars mix release. And then they've kind of used this lower base on it since, including for newer round two releases. But looks sharp in the black. Alright, next up. We got 68 Chevy Camaro RS SS. Done a little hot rod style. Code card out of there. This was 2002. There it is. Looks good. They did put the bigger wheels in the back, so definitely gives that drag look to it for it. I do kind of wish they used a different uh, engine for the front here to match closer to the card here with the intake like that, but it is what it is. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> All right, next up. I think one of the last ones I need of this casting, the 69 AMX. So I opened up a darker red one a while back and a green one on the same, I think I did those on the same video. Uh, a couple of videos ago you saw me open up the classic plastic and now I got this orange one. I think this is the last, I, at least of the non-Dragon Lady ones. I think this is the last one I, oh no, I still need another classic plastic one. So, alright, well. I'll get it eventually, maybe. <laughs> but I, lo I love this freaking casting, man. All right, and now we are going to get into ones that I have at least two of. So I think first, go off the camera here, we got these uh, Buick T-Types. This one just, this one in silver, just called 80, 80s Buick T-Type. This was 99? Yep. Oh, copyright 98, so it's early. Oh, I was on the Wyatt's Index looking at something like that. I think this was the first... Uh, that's a gold mix. And here it is. Um, definitely, I mean, obviously with the wheels, it's just got kind of some weird proportions to it. But that's just, this is what Johnny Lightning was in the mid-90s. They had these kind of weird, exaggerated proportions like this. So, to me, I, I think, I still think it looks cool. 
Uh, next up, we got 82 Grand National. Rare. Only 215 made in 1982. Only 15,000 made of the car. this car here. So these were 99? No, still 98. Okay. I think this one was a ser Series 3. I think Series 2 had the black, actual black one in a Grand National color. So obviously it was a Grand National color. And here we go. This one looks pretty cool. These are not easy to come by. It's like I've, if you've been following online, um, G body releases don't come cheap anymore, especially for the older giant. Older giant. Any of the giant lightning ones are weirdly pricey, or can be anyway. But yeah, this one looks cool. I really like this one. <laughs> I do really like these. All right, next up, we'll go right down here. And we will open up the 86 Monte Carlo SS. Uh, this is, I don't, I have no idea which exact series this is, but the casting itself is the Beastmobile Monte Carlo debuted in the Hot Rods line. I opened up a, I had a set, I had a set of all five. I opened up four on camera. So. Here we got the classic gold ones. This first one in black with the red trim. I think just a little comparer. So size wise, it's basically the same as the Regal. Same with. Oh. Yeah. That look good. <laughs> Uh, next up, we got it marked as an 84 in purple. Also 99. But... How did I do that? And there it is. So black trim, some chipping up under the fenders there. Not horrible though. I've seen definitely have seen worse. <laughs> but it doesn't affect like the side look and all that, so we're good. Damn it. Okay. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Alright, last week we got 83 in white. Obviously they're all the same cast. <laughs> So, no, no, this is not a White Lightning. I don't know what the traits were for White Lightnings on these. I think it was different for each mix. A little different. Probably White Base, White Lightning on the tires and all, so. But yeah. Line the black one up with there. Right there. All right, next up, Mustang 2s. First up, 78 King Cobra in red. I didn't want that over there. Damn it. All right. Anyway. All right. Here we go. Uh, I mentioned before, um, at least with with these older cars, it, they put the rear, the bigger rear wheels in it, so it does look good with the bigger rear wheels. It looks weird. It just looks unfinished with the smaller ones. Can I open the hood? Probably not. Probably not. I try too hard here. Try a little bit with this. Maybe. All right, I ain't forcing it. <laughs> but 78 King Cobra. Casting does look pretty good. And then next, we'll open up 77 King Cobra. Cobra two. This one in black. So we got the King Cobra graphic on the hood there. 5.0, their 302 engine in them. Now this one's got the smaller rear wheels. So there's something you can tell the difference. So you can see how the front end, now the wheel fills the wheel well nicely. But the back here, the smaller wheel just 
it doesn't really fill it doesn't fill it up well enough at least to me still looks fine but it, it it's even more it's worse when it's just the pla the plastic wheels because they use this casting for uh uh spoilers release um from street freaks a few years a couple few years back and it's got smaller wheels in the front and it just it just looks weird all uh, right, next up, or small wheels in the back, I mean. But anyway, uh, back to it, 96 Viper GTS. This one in blue, and I got a 98 in red after this one. All right. So, there we go. Good luck. This is a good-looking casting from Johnny Lightning. Um, even though no opening parts or anything, it's still a very solid-looking car for uh casting for them for sure i still think um matchbox at the time probably had the at least for the cheaper brands at the time i think um matchbox probably had the best viper casting this one's close second the, the hot wheels one at the time looked like it just looks weird <laughs> sorry right, so here's the 98 in red All right, and here we go. So actually, the wheels on this one, on the red one, are actually a little bigger, or at least maybe it's just a optical. Maybe it's just, actually no, they're probably the same size, right? same freaking wheel. It looks bigger on this one for some reason though. So just weird optical illusion or something. In our prior video, I had I opened one of these. It was uh, with plastic wheels uh, with the yellow hubs. I'm not sure what release that one was. Because these were, these classic golds, they should be all the real wheels. So. Alright. Getting down to it. Uh, next up, we got these 70 Buicks. Uh, first off, we'll open up the white Buick GSX. mentioned it before this was another uh uh muscle cars usa casting this is the from 96 this is a series so it's a series two um design and not, it doesn't have as high as stances like the roadrunner and the charge drive and the 66 mustang i've pointed out before and i actually kind of like this casting more than the newer one that came out in uh, 2005 that they still use that one today um, I kind of like this one a little more. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I just, I don't know. I just like this one a bit more. <laughs> All right, next up, also 70 GSX, but in yellow. So 1970, I believe... I don't know what that is on the hood, the roof there. But maybe I can get it off later. There's the engine. But yeah, in 70, they use, they only used white and yellow for the GSX. But I think in 71, they did more colors. So there's that one. And then lastly, the 70 Buick GS, not a GSX. But this one kind of this, uh, I don't know, Dijon mustard yellow color or something. <laughs> And now one thing I can definitely say for this one, the uh, white lightning versions of these, or for this mix, it's uh, white hubs and white tires. I saw one reason. I saw one for sale a while back. I should have grabbed it. Not that I purposely collect white lightnings, but it would have been neat to have the regular one and the white lightning with it. So, whatever, yeah, whatever mix this one came in, I know that that's what the white lightning traits for that mix was. There we go for the 70 Buicks. All right, let's see what we want to do next. We'll open up the Scramblers next. Uh, I think I already opened up one of these before, but 
Eh, we'll do another one, why not? Because I wouldn't resell, but giant ladies don't do well and whatnot. <laughs> so we got 69 Hearst Scrambler, the B paint scheme. That is less common than the A, which would be the next one I open up. There we go. Plus, what's nice about it, this uh, video now with my new uh, ring light here. Videos look a little better <laughs> using this light. So even though I showed the I might, I think I showed this one before on uh, camera. It'll look a little nicer here. Although, is that... I don't know. It's fine now. All right. I don't know if the wheel was kind of jacked up in there a little bit. But... So, a little engine detail in there. And there we go. So that is version B of the paint scheme from, from the factory. Move some cars here a little bit. All right, next up, version A. This is the more definitely the more common uh, version. We can do a little comparing here as well. It's obviously the version A, very loud, very loud look. Um, the bright red, the bright, giant bright red stripe down the side, boost blue uh, stripe down the center there. The arrow there, say that's where the air goes. <laughs> Staying under that scoop, there's a 390 cubic inch engine up under there. So these were. From what I understand, these uh, scramblers were pretty formidable on the track, even though AMC was not really much of a muscle car brand, per se. These scramblers, from what I understand, pretty much held their own against the big three. All right, and lastly of the scramblers, we've got 69, another 69 hertz scrambler. This one as a drag car, Lakeview... Lakeview Rambler engine by O'Brien. Ken Rose, American Image, Woodcliffe Lake, New Jersey. So, obviously, definitely based on a car that was drag raced back in the day. I don't, um, which, that was more or less what most cars were meant for. <laughs> there we go. All right, lastly, this group of 63 Impalas. First, we'll open up the white one. Uh, casting, I do enjoy these older castings. Does have a slightly higher stance than a stock, than probably would be stock, but these look pretty good. I got a silver one from this era. I don't, I'm not 100% certain what the uh, series it was from was. I do have a, I do have one release from before. It looks really nice. And these I have a feeling these three are gonna be no different. <laughs> There's the white one. Next up we got this one in red. This one looks really good in red. So it's obviously not a bubble top. Uh, it's just regular old Impala, and we know it's an Impala because the triple tail lights. If it was, du if it was doubles, it'd be Bel Air or Biscayne. Um, yeah, looks good in red. I still think the silver one actually, if I if I recall right, that silver one I have does sit a tiny bit higher than these do though. At least based off memory. <laughs> But lastly, black. I mean, it's an Impala in black. It's awesome. <laughs> what Impala doesn't look good in black, right? 
1963 to 96. Come on, they look great. <laughs> All right, everyone, that'll be it for this video. Uh, thanks for checking it out with me, opening up my cars. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.